So containers is a technology becoming popular um, because they let you bundle your application up into one big, one big blob. Um, and the reason that's popular and, and useful is because it lessens the burden on application integration teams um, on installing dependencies um, for your application. So what that means is you can go and deploy out a container-based application much, much faster than you could in a traditional world. So velocity around delivery, um, this is all about getting your software out faster, getting out onto your website um, in a more reliable way um, and in a consistent way. And um, putting all your software into a container and having a build process that does all the build and all the difficult bits um, at, the, at the build stage for you rather than having to worry about it every time you're moving your software to a new environment means that you can move your software through the whole life cycle from development through pre-prod staging into your production environment much, much faster. So Docker is quite a transformative technology. It changes the way that an organization delivers software in ways that uh, maybe haven't been done in, in a generation or so. Um, so the considerations around um, who does what, um, how you um, make sure that your application is secure, how you make sure that all the parts are deployed in the right way and your environments are set up consistently um, can be a big thing to, um, to do. Also because you're shifting all your build, all your implementation into the build phase of, uh, of, um, of your software development lifecycle means that um, people need to be aware. So security people and operations people need to be aware what's running in their containers um, at an earlier stage than maybe they're used to. But all that feeds into uh, a proper DevOps feedback cycle um, which can help people get their, their applications out faster and more, more reliably and consistently. So Sendachi is Enterprise DevOps Continuous Delivery uh, Consultancy. Um, we've done Docker. We've done implementations of software development life cycles around Docker. Um, we're also a Docker trusted partner, so we can help with training um, and help with installing the software, um, bringing the organization up to speed with the modern ways of, of doing things and bringing in some thought leadership um, some, so, and some war stories, some horror stories of how not to do things when the companies are, are starting on this journey that can accelerate the adoption of container-based technologies and other continuous integration, continuous development, deployment, um, DevOps techniques. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we're full of war stories. You don't get to be this old and with this many gray hairs without quite a lot of, of war stories. Um, and what we find is typically um, where companies make mistakes in it, adopting technology such as this is, is trying to be too far ahead of the curve, trying to be too clever technically when, um, and putting a lot of investment into developing technology um, to, um, to, to be the best of breed when actually what you really need to do is to, be, is to do things simply, do things in a more straightforward way, um, especially when you're bringing people along on a journey. Um, you need to involve all of your technical organization in getting containers adopted in, an org in a company. Um, and so focusing more heavily on that, those aspects, the softer aspects of um, what do people's jobs look like in a new world where they're not application support engineers anymore, they're supporting applications running in containers. Um, most of my war stories are based around not paying enough attention to that side of things. Um, I think um, the, you can never underestimate how important it is to try things out and, and, to, and to try to innovate um, and um, there's nothing wrong with a project that um, doesn't turn out the way you thought it was. Um, containerization, putting things in, into Docker um, helps you do that, it lets you um, innovate quickly and, and again um, it's a bit of a meta answer. Uh, if you're looking at because every organization is different, um, working out how to best implement these technologies can vary across lots of, uh, across um, organizations, especially when you consider DevOps, the big buzzword of DevOps. Everyone wants DevOps in a box. Everyone wants containerization in a box. Um, well, container is a box, um, but the box looks different in every organization. So um, the temptation to go and do exactly what the other company is doing is strong, um, but there's, you have to be very careful in that world. Thank you.
Thank you, Gabriel.